Well, all right, hello, YouTube Land. My name is Wildboy5699, and welcome to this. Merry Christmas 2021. I can't believe it's already Christmas again. It feels like like a few weeks ago we already celebrated Christmas in 2020, but it's been a year. Uh, happy, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Hanukkah, Season Greetings, and all that. So, anyway, today for this video, I wanted to show you guys my Christmas haul 2021. Because mostly every year I like to show you guys what I get for Christmas every year. Because it's just a thing. I don't know, because I like to show you guys like what I get because it makes you feel good. So, anyway, like I said, it, it's not much, mostly not much, but that's okay. So, but that's alright. I got, uh, my parents feel a little bit bad because I didn't get much stuff or expensive stuff, but like, God, but I tell them don't worry about it. It's all good and all that. So they're gonna make it up to me. But I still, I kind of still felt a little bit bad because I'm 22 and I still get Christmas gifts from my parents. So my parents are like, oh, well, I still want you to get Christmas gifts and all that because I still love you and all that. So I really appreciate. I really love them and appreciate them. So first off, I want to show you this. My brother ended up getting me a Nightmare on Elm Street hoodie. And track pants and those and I'm not the type of person to wear track pants or hoodies and all that, but these are actually felt comfortable. I got up at five o'clock, open presents, tried this on, I went back to bed and slept in this and it was comfortable. I didn't get too hot, it didn't get too cold and all that, so I felt really comfortable. So that's was really cool. And I ended up getting him tickets to a concert called Fozzy. Uh concert to tickets to a band concert tickets to a band called Fozzy. And uh I guess the lead singer is a wrestler named Chris Jericho. And so he was really happy about that. So really cool. So on to the Christmas gifts. So the first one, I got to give credit to a place I've been eating a lot. And that is Chili's. I've been eating a lot of Chili's lately. They got some fucking good chips and salsa. So we're really going to love their chips and salsa. Because I usually get the 10 for 10. Uh, me, 10 for 10 thing where you get a drink, burger, chips, uh, chips and salsa. And their chips and salsa is so fucking good. I've been eating it. I've been getting like every, every almost every other day for the like, last few weeks. And so fucking good. I recommend. So definitely been eating a lot of Chili's. So definitely got Chili's. Next up, um, actually, I just got a bunch of Christmas stuff, uh, candy and stuff, all that stuff. And also, I ended, uh, I did a video, I did an unboxing video this the other day, but this is kind of like a Christmas gift from me to me. And that was the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition for the PlayStation 4. Um, like I said, this was, I haven't got a chance to play this yet because my brother had an ass much storage on, station, on his PlayStation, so I'm going to end up getting a physical copy for the Nintendo Switch version as well. Uh, like I said, this game, the Standard Edition has Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, and as I said many a times, my favorite. Grand Theft Auto game is Vice City. That was the first Grand Theft Auto game I ever played. It means so much to me. I absolutely love Vice City, and that's my favorite Grand Theft Auto game. So that is the Grand Theft Auto uh, the Definitive Edition Trilogy Edition. Next up, I have so many copies of this movie, but it's in different versions. And that is the, t of course, I got a uh, 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 Walt Disney Signature Collection of the 1961 Disney film, 101 Dalmatians. Now, many of you guys know 100 Down 101 Dalmatians is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I think it's like top two. Like I said, my all time favorite Disney movies, The Fox and the Hand, number two goes to 101 Dalmatians. Three goes to Bambi, four goes to Black Cauldron, and five goes to Great Now Robin Hood. So, like I said, I haven't opened this yet. Uh, my parents ended up getting me two copies. I had, uh, I, they were either, they were supposed to give me Lady in the Chain, but one, they got one from Walmart, Best Buy, so I'm gonna take the one from Walmart, because I like Best Buy more than Walmart, cause, so like I said, this, like I said, so that's really cool, so that's 101 donations. Next up. I ended up getting a new shaving kit. And of course, I got the Dollar Shave Club, and I absolutely love the razors from the Dollar Shave Club. It also comes with the shave butter thing. I, I, my, my dad you know, likes to use the uh, cheap dollar razors, and I tried using those, and it hurts my skin. I, uh, I bleed out a lot. I get cuts and all that. But the Dollar Shave Club razor, I get I shave it. I don't get I get I don't get too many cuts, and it, it's really smooth, and it feels really good. Absolutely helps with my skin. Cause I have really sensitive skin. And I hate having facial hair because I got still right now. But I'll give it another couple of days, and I'll go shave because I hate having facial hair because it does not look good on me, and it really makes my face really, really, really itchy. So like I said, it's really hard when you have sensitive skin, of course. So that is the Dollar State Club razor. Next up, we got. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't fucking like this movie, but I absolutely love this movie, so you can find it. Of course, I got a toothpaste thing, uh, gift pack of Space Jam and New Legacy. It's coming with tooth, uh, toothpaste, do toothbrush, and like a basketball thing. Like I said, I love Space Jam. I love Space Jam and New Legacy. It was absolutely, I had fun a lot of watching it. I know a lot of people say this is the worst movie of 2021. They didn't like this movie. It sucked. But to me, I had, I liked it. I had fun watching it. So that's just, they come with the back. It's like a two toothbrush and all that. But I definitely like Space Jam and New Legacy. It was really cool that they thought getting this for me, and I do need to brush my teeth because I got so many fucking cavities, but that is Space Jam and New Legacy brush kit. Um, what else, what else? Next up, I got, I got, um, a new book. 
And that is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Big Shot. I almost every Christmas in like the last five years, five, six years, I've always got a Christmas, uh, every Christmas, one of the Christmas gifts I always get is a new Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but because his, Jeff Kenny releases these books around Christmas, uh, somewhere between October and November, sometimes December, but yeah. This is the new installment. Last year I got the new book, The Deep Man. This is the new book. I haven't read it. I haven't read it yet. But like I said, this is the new. This is book number 16 out of 16. And for the looks of me, Jeff Kenny's not going to end this series in a while. That's fine because I absolutely love Die for Wimpy Kid books. So I think my favorite book series is probably Captain Underpants and then Die for Wimpy Kid. So I don't know. I grew up with Die for Wimpy Kid, so it's really cool. So that is Die for Wimpy Kid Big Shot. Next up, I got another book. And this is, I got to open this up on Christmas Eve. And of course, I'm talking about the storyteller by by Dave Grohl, the singer for Foo Fighters, the drummer for Nirvana, and this is basically written by him. It basically talks about his. I read a little bit about, about it. Basically, talks about his life from growing up to joining a uh, joining a uh, scream up band to joining Nirvana and about the Kurt Cobain suicide and to, about forming the Foo Fighters and his like it is what this being a father and all that. So this is a really good book. And uh, if you if you knew me about five, six, seven years ago, I hated the Foo Fighters, I hated Nirvana, but once I gave them a listen, once I gave them a listen to Nirvana, and Foo Fighters have easily become one of my favorite bands of all time, and I absolutely love them, so that is the Storyteller by Dave Grohl. Last but not least, I ended up getting the entire series of the original Teen Titans, I was so excited when I found this out, when I got this, because I've been watching the Teen Titans on HBO Max, because I have HBO Max, and um, I, I, I started recently loving that. Loving it, so I wanted a physical copy of the entire season of uh, entire season series of Teen Titans, uh, and a lot better than Teen Titans because this is the original one. And if you ask me what's my favorite Titan, is this probably have to be Starfire right here. And plumbly, please give me a fucking cameo from Hendon Walsh and Starfire. I want one. So that's the original. Uh, this is the original. This is the complete series for the original Teen Titans. So that is pretty much, so that is my entire Christmas haul. It's not much, but that's okay. It's, that's okay. I do appreciate that my parents are still thoughtful enough to give me gifts, and it doesn't matter. And it feels really good. So I, my sister's supposed to come a little bit. I actually got up at 5 o'clock. Uh, Mom got up at 5 o'clock. Uh, we opened presents, so about 6 o'clock I ended up going back to bed. So it's still a little bit early, so it's not like 9 30. It's like 9 30 right now. But I just wanted to make this video saying happy holidays, Merry Christmas, season greens to everybody. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Please stay safe. I'm going to try to get maybe one or two videos done before the end of the year. So maybe, and I don't know what my plans are for next year, just more Let's Play videos and all that. So I don't think there's going to be any games going out or something like that. So like I said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I would, like I said, I'm going to try to get one or two more videos. Uh, released before the end of the year. So thank you guys again for thank you guys again for watching. If you did, make sure you read a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.